when we're looking at street photography and we're looking at these really evocative, fantastic images from the 1950s and 60s, we look at those and we think, well, I can't take pictures like that anymore. Our streets don't look like that anymore. That's really not the case because what we're now doing as street photographers is providing that material for future generations. I guess you become more confident and more effective as a street photographer the more you do it because you become more observant. Your sense of curiosity takes over and you just start making connections. And that's really what street photography is all about. My rule has always been that if it doesn't fit into a small shoulder bag, it doesn't go with me. So I tend to go out with one camera, one lens. Shooting with this GF 50mm 3.5 uh, is great. It's a small lens, it's discreet, it's compact, it's light, and it's just a great lens for street photography. And when a person looks at a picture taken with that lens, they're seeing reality. They're not seeing compressed perspective or widened perspective. They are seeing reality. A lot of people don't associate medium format with street photography, but I actually love it. And what you do get is a fantastic amount of detail. And because context is so important in street photography, that detail has quite an important part to play. One of the things I think a lot of us as street photographers are guilty of is not sharing our work enough. And we all need to be getting the work out there more, sharing it, printing it more, getting it on social media, getting it onto our websites, or you produce books. You really need to max out on the quality and this is where medium format really comes into its own.